been a teacher for uh, what, uh, 24 years. So <laughs> thank, you. thank you. And I, I really like kids. Um, what is wrong with her? <laughs> Grumble and Growl on Oreo TV. Welcome back to Grumble and Growl. I'm Gail Tosh, your host, as we examine issues from the local to the global perspective so that you can make better choices. I know I told you I was going to take two weeks off, but listen, folks, I am sitting here, right here, next to a friend of mine, Jennifer Geiger. She is a hometown hero, and I mean hero. She is running for school board in the Baldwinsville Central School District. So let's give a warm round of applause to Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> That's quite an intro. <laughs> well, we, we like to keep things fun here, okay? So um, tell us, you're running for school board. What, what made you decide to do that? Well... It's been on my mind for a while, noticing um, just in the large scale across the nation, people, organizations, forces such as Moms for Liberty, trying. Ooh, right. We've talked about them before here. Okay. <laughs> I just, it, it makes no sense to me. I, I, I know that um, they're hoping to control the narrative. They're hoping to control how schools are and perhaps even bring public schools down crush them, you know, so that things can be privatized. Do they want us to be stupid? E well, either that or it, it's a money grab. Like, honestly, we've seen that with, with um, you know, testing and so forth. Um, but anyway. Okay, I, we could go down that rabbit hole for a long time. So that, right. this is what is making you want to run for school board. That and then locally, um, I had helped um, some, some of the people that were on the board campaign. And then when I saw that they were discontented with things on the board enough to resign early. Um, I don't know the details of the why. It, it, I think it was a very personal decision for, for them. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I'm pretty tough. Uh, I think I'm pretty used to opposition. I, I listen to all sides, but then I'm pretty tough to bully out of you know, yeah. Oh, right. You know, a, once a you have your stance, you have a backbone, and you're not right. about to be moved just because someone's mean. And, but it's unfortunate that those individuals had to put up with that. And so I don't. I I I think it's it. I develop a sort of righteous anger. Like, how dare you? We should all be able. If once we're elected, we should be able to fulfill our duties as elected. So. Yes. I want to know what's going on. I, um, I, I, I want to lend my voice, my skills to what's going on in our schools and just protect our schools. They are um, really unique. It's nice that we are in a relatively small district, although people are you know, noticing that it's growing. Yeah. Um, I work for a larger district and um, I recognize the excellence that are, that is already here in Baldwinsville and I'd like to see that continue, and I have ideas for it, you know, being so, better. excellence here in Baldwinsville. Can you give us an example? We like hometown success Absolutely. stories. Absolutely. Well, I mean, starting with our music programs. Um, we have so many um, musicians that are, that are getting recognized, um, you know, all county and all state. And, and my daughter, um, who is now graduated, was part of the Baldwinsville Marching Band program and the, um, the pep band. And um, it was just a really great organization for her to be part of. Um, we've known lots of kids that have participated in the musicals and the plays and um, really impressive, very talented. And then, of course, there's academics, which is, you know, of <laughs> course, the, the purpose of schools. But I really think that those soft skills mm -hmm. and the leadership and the relationships, that's what keeps people loyal to yeah. being a bee. Sure. And so... Band was a big that. part of my life when I was a youngster. And I was in all of those bands you were talking about. I was just in Pennsylvania. I didn't live here in Baldwinsville at that time. But... Um, so what skills are you bringing to the table? You had mentioned you want to bring them. What are they? Um, I've been a teacher for uh, what, uh, 24 years. So <laughs> thank, you. thank you. And I, I really like kids. Um, what 
<laughs> is wrong with her? <laughs> well, I like I like the honesty. I like the frankness. Um, okay. They're very real. I have some 10th graders that kind of remind me of <laughs> middle schoolers. Um, and the, they bring energy um, and, and realness. Uh, it's refreshing. Um, but because they're teenagers and independent, autonom autonomous beings, uh, it can be a challenge to lead and to really think about what the clear message needs to be that they need to grasp and boil it down. And I realized that if I were to quit my teaching job, those very skills would lend to a lot of different environments. Um, I feel like I've I'm naturally a quiet person. Um, she says the candidate. Right. Well, <laughs> right. And this is a little odd, but I, I certainly can bring forth a persona to engage with people. Um, and even in our school, I've been a, a union rep. Um, people have come to me a few times this year just with um, issues that are near and dear to their heart, sometimes interpersonal issues, things that are sticky that we need to resolve between union members without tattling and oh. you know getting each other in trouble, mm -hmm. really working things out. And I think that's a skill set. This that sounds I like an adult sitting over here, an adult who wants to sit at the adult table and make some adult decisions. Now we're talking about millions of dollars in this uh, education budget. Now who do you want to be in charge of that? So uh, an adult. I do. I want an adult to be in charge of that. So these people have heard your story, Jennifer. What do you want them to do? I would love your vote, honestly. Um, I feel like a bit of an underdog. This is my first run for the board, and I'm, I'm not a household name. So I would love for there to be some buzz. And the vote is on May 21st at, uh, well, actually, I think it's all day. All day. All yeah. day on the main campus, um, right there by the district office in that old transportation building. That's where you can find it. Uh, as long as you've been a resident of the Baldwinsville district for at least 30 days, you're eligible to vote, whether you ordinarily vote in elections or not. Although I would love to plug that you also do that <laughs> as well, the civic civic um, awesome responsibility. A little yeah. cross-pollination there with the voting. Listen, I know some of you don't live in Baldwinsville, but you know people who do live in Baldwinsville. And this is a perfect opportunity for you to create some buzz and have a direct say in what happens next in our country. This is Jennifer Geiger. She's running for school board in Baldwinsville Central School District. Thank you so Thank much you for being on the Thanks show. Thanks for having me on. Bye for now. Thank you.